Hey, I'm Robert from Forest Performance, and I'm going to show you how to correctly put a cartridge into a compressor cover with a snap wrench, and a hammer, and a punch, and snap ring pliers, and an O ring. So, the first thing you're going to do is clean your mating surfaces. Okay, no funk or gunk in here on the mating surface where the register sits from the cartridge onto the bearing housing. You need that to be, uh, I mean, from the register of the bearing housing onto the register of the compressor cover. It's gotta be clean and free of any debris, uh, little chunks of anything. Can't be there because the parts have to mate right up to each other. Um, O-ring is a important part of this. It keeps air from leaking out. This is a Zona Rotor X3C compressor cover and it utilizes this O-ring and snap ring uh, to seal. So what you mainly do is you put some engine oil around the edge where the seal, where the O-ring rides. Spread it around a little bit. Set the O-ring on it. And the oil is just tacky enough to, uh, to hold the uh, O-ring on the right step on the cartridge while you turn it upside down. So you have the O-ring. You might have some alignment marks, you know, so that you get your compressor cover oriented in the right way to fit your inner core pipes and whatnot. Very important that when you put the cartridge into the compressor cover that you do it straight in a very axially straight manner. And don't let the blades touch the housing. The blades are very thin. Blades are very thin on the edges and very easy to bend the tips of the blades. Once you've got it sitting in there firmly, turn it a little bit, make sure it feels like the O-ring seated properly. I've got this one at the right angle that I want the compressor cover oriented relative to the oil inlet and oil drain. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick my snap ring up and the snap ring has a, a top and a bottom. The bottom is flat. The top has chamfer. The chamfer needs to go away from the compressor cover. The chamfer is what holds the cartridge firmly in. So the so in this orientation, the chamfer faces up. You need a great big pair of snap ring pliers like this. These are Nipix brand. This is the brand I prefer. Um, really nice, really nice pair of snap ring pliers. Uh, this is a part number four four two some of the letters wore off. It's a really nice pair of nitpicks made in Germany, really nice snap ring pliers. Uh, snap ring's really strong. Uh, so you, you line up on the holes, you compress the snap ring into the groove, tap the tabs down, snapped into the groove. A lot of times you didn't think, this is the end of it. I got it in there. Well, it's kind of in there, um, and the spring force is kind of set the snap ring into the groove, but it's not all the way into the groove. And you want to set the snap ring all the way into the groove once you've determined what the final orientation of the cartridge is. We have, this is how it's going to install in the car in this orientation. So now that it's in this orientation, I'm going to take my punch and my hammer, flat punch, and I'm just going to lightly smack the snap ring into the groove. This is called staking the snap ring or setting the snap ring in place. This is the final step of that. So now that it's in, um, I'll show you how to properly remove it, okay? To properly remove it, now remember I just staked it, so it's going to be really kind of tight to break loose. It's where the big snap ring pliers come in handy. So take the snap ring off. This is an important part because you can damage the compressor wheel right here very easily. If you were to pull a cartridge out at an angle like this, there's not enough clearance between the blades and the housings to let the blade just swing out like that. The, 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 the clearance is very tight. If you swing the cartridge out like this, you're going to pull a compressor wheel up on one side and you're going you're gonna to ding it with a pull. So you're going to pull the, snap, the, the cartridge straight up, axially out, lay it on a table, and there you go. That's how you take it out. Do not rock the cartridge out one way or another. A lot of times these, uh, these kind of stuck together after they've been running. Uh, can be a little challenging to just pull it straight out, but that is your job. So there you go. Snap rings.